Greetings. Uh, w welcome to the stream. Last time I played Animal Crossing, there was an incident, so I don't know what the hell's going to happen today, but uh, we're going to find out if, if things are okay, I suppose. Also, hello, everyone. Holy shit. That bit set... Like, set me back like 15 minutes. Not even that good of a bit, but at least you've got continuity. Hi, everyone. So, yeah, welcome to the stream. Um, gonna be just doing some chill Animal Crossing for a little bit. If you want to watch it later, you can. I <clears throat> I still have audio delay. Someone recommended that I disable every audio device. I feel like it's a little better, but I still notice it. It's still like a 200 millisecond <laughs> delay. So if anyone else has any solutions for the Elgato capture card, please let me know. Also, um, Judo Scoot. Sorry, what is, what is your name again? Jujitsu Drake? What was his? What did I call him? It's fine. I might copy you. I could be Vine Jr. for the day. That's cool. Judo Drake. What's up, Quacko? Did you see the results for Happy Home Academy already? Oh, So many bugs. That's not surprising. It's cool, though. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, once again, welcome. I'll take any more possible audio solutions. If you got them, chat, you can just send them my way. But, uh, thank you for the help already. A couple people sent me some possible ideas, and they just quite didn't quite work out that great. Vinny, how did you manage to survive the plane explosion? Oh, uh, well, if you watch the beginning of the stream, my character was stuck in the sand, so he's fine. He landed on the sand. So, someone said, Vinny, did you get your test results? I did. Um, also, my family member that I was worried about, that had, you know, I was worried they maybe had the thing. They had laryngitis. So that's cool. The worst possible time for that. Very, very scary. And, uh, last night... And, you know, one of the reasons I went is because I had this weird, like, tightness in my chest and, like, a light cough. No other symptoms. And last night, after my VR stream, I, I kind of had that again. So my test was negative, though... I don't know, something's a little fucky. I feel good today. So I don't know. Um... Again, I've been chalking it up to allergies, but... It's like one of those things that just kind of... It's not that bad. It, it's not something that... I even notice that much. It's just every now and then... I felt like a little... Shitty over the past week. So... Who the hell knows? Thank you for asking. Do you ever give yourself psychosomatic symptoms? Yeah, no, definitely there's there's some component of that, especially now with all the anxiety of everything that's happening. So it's worth being aware of that, because sometimes I do that. But I think it, this was one of those things where I ignored it, and I'm like, hmm, let me go get a test. But I still feel a, a couple of weird crustiness, like, symptoms. Like, crusty symptoms. So I don't- I don't know what the hell's going on. I mean, I- I am a hypochondriac when it comes to... ...sickness, but... ...I also get sick... ...like, pretty much every convention I've gone to... ...aside from the last couple of years... ...where I've been a lot more careful. So it's- it's worth being careful. Is my... ...that's how I would phrase it. Someone wrote Bellend. Now, what is that? Is that a location? Is that- is that where you're from? I 
I, I only know what a bell end is because of Ali G. So, just saying. But anyway, today I'm not planning on doing a whole lot. In Animal Crossing. Um, for some, you know, for some reason, there's this game called Terraria that I really wanted to play, but today is the day I have to actually, like, kind of work. You know, today is the day I get Sunday stream ready with the, the, the team. I also go through my emails, so I don't think I'm going to be able to play very much Terraria today. So I didn't miss Leonardo's birthday. I didn't stream it. I played Animal Crossing on the day of Leonardo's Leonardo's birthday, but I actually forgot to go visit him. So I did miss Leonardo's birthday. Sucks, bro. Oh, I put that there. I'm not really sure what to put there, so I just put that there. He didn't attend your party, so... That's true. Vinny, I have blue roses if you want some to breed. No, I'm good. I haven't really gotten into the flower breeding metagame. A little bit here and there, but... A little eagle recently told me something. I thought I should ask you if it's true, Smokeweed. Fine, do you dream about being an actor someday, Smokeweed? I like that the coffee cup is just floating. Sure do. That's great. Here's hoping you really do get to be an actor, then. Have you read your evaluation for Happy Home Academy? I haven't worked up the courage yet myself. Smoke weed. Something tells me she's gonna be saying smoke weed way longer than Scoot ever did. Yeah, I've, I've acted. I've, I'm, I'm an actor. I'll give you an example. Let me give you some of the magic. Um, main peaky toe crab with toasted hazelnut, celery. I don't remember the rest. But here's one. Um, you're out. I'm in. The people want more Vin. Or here's another one. Here's another one. Oh, Labor Day. Those are my um, credentials. I think Jacques just wants to be alone. Kind of hard to get privacy on this island, if you think about it. With this epic gamer running around. Oh, that's new. Catfish. That was unexpected. Good to see you, Zutelioch. Let's chat. Ah, just look at that sky. Mother Nature always picks such on-trend colors for the season. What's the latest? Spring, time to shake things up and really throw everyone for a spin. Spin! Don't worry, Vine, I'm just talking about maybe trying out a new shirt. Too crazy, right? Yeah, it was nice out today. There's a place that I like to get food at. Like, they do good sandwiches and shit. And they were closed throughout... You know, the past two months, pretty much. And they finally reopened. So that was exciting. That was the most exciting thing that happened to me in weeks. <laughs> no, it's, it was good, though. I was happy to finally... You know, have some more food options. Because I've been just kind of eating random things I've been cooking. Mainly just simple chicken, or uh, simple beef, or simple vegetable. 
but, uh, or cereal, which is, you know, the simplest. Or some microwave hoagie. No, there's no hoagies. I have not been microwaving hoagies. That's weird. But, no, I, I just, I love a good sandwich. And I haven't had a good one in a while, so this has been, uh... I have, like, 1.5 million in the bank. I'm not gonna grow any more money trees for a while. Oops, sorry. Ooh. Hey, fish, 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 fish. Hey, I wish, 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 wish that you'd come and play with me. Why are there asses growing on this tree? So I have a good uh, Ringo moment. There's a new Ringo moment that I discovered. I'd like to play it for you. Well, he wasn't there by accident. It's a pretty good... Constant fight, Jeff and I, because, uh... One of these days. We've all... So this is them talking about recording Free as a Bird and Real Love, which is uh, stuff they did in the 90s together, and Ringo... Not a day over 87. Um... You, with Jeff Lynn, right. Um, so this is, this is what Ringo Always says. Always had a constant fight, Jeff and I, because, uh... You know, he always wants the click track. He wants the click, and I keep saying, I am the fucking click. Of course, when we got the song finished... <laughs> that was four years ago, and Ringo looked like that four years ago. In his 70s. I am the fucking click. Sorry, fucking click. He still looks like that. I mean, the dude... How does he look like that? Oh, money. Money and hair dye. Though Ringo got lost in, in the drink for many years, so... You know, the dude definitely was a heavy, heavy, heavy drinker. Um... Which... The fact that he looks that good... Even after many lost years... Eh, I, you know, that's just money. Hi, good to see you again, Arthur. Your outfit is Trey Unique, where'd you get it? Shut up. Johnny from Dawn designed it for reals? They trying to become a designer because I will totes buy everything if they open a store. Legit everything. Yep. You know what else? Glorious leader Nook. Would love for you to go to Johnny's Island Cookie. You should go check it out. Genuinely, you'd enjoy it. How did you survive? Yeah, it turns out the plane was very close to the beach. So, my character just landed in the sand. If you watch the beginning of the stream, you'll see... ...the miraculous, um, survival. amazing. Hey, do I see a citrus longhorn beetle in your hand? Wasn't shoehorned at all. Uh, Robert Plant looks like he's wearing a melted Halloween mask of himself, so money doesn't always apply, I guess. That's true. I will say, I like what Robert Plant, like, the past ten years, he's put out a couple decent tracks. Like, he sings lower, but he, he learned how to sing in his old man voice. And, um... You know, he's got like a cool, um... Psychedelic, weird mysticism about him in, in a lot of his songs these days. And he works with good people. Iggy Pop looks like a burn victim. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I mean, you see what he's done to his... I'm sure you know what he did to his body.
you know, Iggy Pop did not really give a fuck about himself. He has become peanut butter. Which is interesting because someone threw a PB&J sandwich at him and his one of his roadies thought he was bleeding from a gash on his stomach because he would frequently, like, get cut and hurt on stage. If, I think I got that story right. I think that's correct. That was from the Marcus Parks uh, podcast. But, yeah, there was also, there's plenty of, uh, you know, stories about Iggy's weirdness and debauchery. Uh, some of them including dog shit, if I'm not mistaken. That's a cool thing. Plasma ball. Always liked plasma balls, they're cool. Um, I definitely already have this. Four thousand. It'll be a gift for Scoot. Vinny, get it and do ring fit again. At some point, I'd like to do a ring fit revisit with the the you know, update, where you can check out songs and, and, like, do, like, the rhythm game in Ring Fit. I haven't had any real desire to do it recently, but that's something I'd like to check out. Drake, are you spying on me? How dare you? You know how wrong that is to spy on your friends, Drake? Right? I just can't get over Drake. It's extremely rude, and I don't think I'll ever really forgive him. You know, it's just not fair. This island, you know, you, there's no privacy. There's just no privacy on this island, really. I can't, I can't forgive him. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. I see Scoot is currently taking a... Never mind. Let's see what data have we collected on Scoot over the past several weeks. Um... Guys, did you know that Scoot is on... He uses DuckDuckGo as his search engine? Huh. Yeah, the plasma ball would kind of go great somewhere in here. It's pretty cool. I don't want to hide the skulls, though. The skulls look really cool. I mean, there is the cup of coffee in the big time. There we go. That cork board is new too. Wonder if you can customize that. Can you customize the cork board and put like meats and scoots on it and stuff? Can. 
the apple design. Yeah, figured. My scoot clock is amazing. T uh, tooth scoot. It's one of my favorite items. Oh, wait. Please put Harrison Ford on the cork board. I hate you. I am now Googling Harrison Ford QR code. Let's try Han Solo. Well, there's the outfit. Indiana Jones? Animal Crossing QR code? No. You can make your own. I'm not, I'm not gonna be, uh... So I think someone found it. You can generate your own. Oh, yeah. acpatterns.com. Let's see. Create. Uh, convert. So I need, um... Let's see. Harrison Ford. I, I'm, we're, we're doing it! I need a real good picture of Harrison Ford. This one's kind of cool. I mean, you know, he's a, he's just a cool dude. He's just a cool looking dude. But I gotta get the, the signature smirk. That's the, you know... That's the vital part. Oh, it's so low quality. You know what? I don't even care. It's fine. I think I got something here. Generate QR code. All right, this will take a second. That you can, you can tell it's him, and it's got the smirk. Let me open my Nintendo Switch Online app. And then open the Animal Crossing New Horizons sub-app, Nooklink, within the Animal Crossing New Horizons sublink. I then click Design, scan QR code, and just like that, I can store one image. Thanks, Square Enix. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, I did the best I could, you know, for a complex image. It's hard to get that detail, but... I think in this case it'll it'll work. Harrison Ford on a cork board. All because of one chat member's juvenile joke that I actually really liked. Oh, you can even customize the clothesline pole. I gotta check that out, too. <laughs> I 
Ugh. It really works, doesn't it? It's really good. It's just the dark side of the moon shirt is so fucking everywhere, and I have one, everyone has one. Not, well, you don't have one, chat. Some of you do, maybe, but it just, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't not. It looked too, it looked too good. There he is, Harrison Ford on a cork board. At first glance, people that don't watch this episode, if I just, like, walk by it, are they gonna be like, is that Harrison Ford on a cork board? It needs a floor light. That screws up the symmetry, then. You know, that, that just kind of... ...puts a monkey wrench in my plans. A little bit. Oh, I got the golden dung beetle, chat. I do have that. That's cool, right? Uh, that coffee cup is definitely not going anywhere. Sorry, mug. Okay, that's a gift for Scoot. 64,000 bells. For Scoot. I do have the full outfit. And I have business socks. You can put things on the desk under the loft bed upstairs. Oh, that's good to know. Um, I don't really know where to put this clothesline just yet, but I'll place it here for now. thought of a better location, but it also means that this tree becomes inaccessible. No, it doesn't. You can customize the garbage bags, too. Wait, is this what I got from the Happy Home Academy? Those cheeky bastards. I'm allergic to cats. Vinny, make gold garbage bags? I hate that noise so much. So wait, I think I might have an extra garbage bag. No, I don't. I have the garbage heap... ...stuff. Did you watch Damon Albarn Boiler Room performance today for his new project? Not yet. I, I saw him tweet about it, and I'm gonna watch it. That's cool that he's working on some new stuff. I saw he had a big beard. So... Damo's got his, uh... His, uh... Business beard. Vinny, I can send you garbage if you want. I mean, I already have garbage, Nary. 
Um, that's very on brand. If you want to send me garbage, I'm fine with that. Is it gold garbage? Can you make gold garbage? Is that real? Or is, was that Jape? It's just yellow. It's not fully gold. I'm good, Nary. Never mind. I just love the idea of, um, like, gold painted garbage bags. There's just something so perfect about that. Or like... I guess, like, you know the gold foil that they use on spaceships? Maybe they could use that. Scoot, I don't have all day. You need to stop fishing. It's me, Flower Scoot. Yo, champ, feeling strong, smoke weed. Scoot, this is the best gift I could ever get you. I hope you appreciate it. Wow, it's a treadmill. You've been working those kindness muscles, haven't you? I can't wait to show this off. I was also looking for an excuse to move my stuff around, so this really is perfect. Smoke weed. Gotta give as much as you take. Please take a stellar jumpsuit. <clears throat> That sure is as much as you've taken. 64,000 bells for about 455 bells. Cool. Are you jogging near my home? Brilliant. Smoke weed. I'm up for that. I guess we could just do laps around my house until one of us drops. That fishing pole is really just going through the back of your head, isn't it? The only thing cooler than huge muscles is huge muscles wearing some iron armor. Wow, Scoot. You, you really out here making me look like some 70s ass knight. We're terribly sorry to hear that you had an accident on your way back home, but thankfully you came out unharmed. Here's something you accidentally dropped during your visit. Come back soon, NDR's embassy. That I dropped during my visit. Scoot, get away from. Scoot, there's nothing to see in my home. Nothing to see at all in my home. No Scoot surveillance system or anything like that. Nope. It's the stick. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Not gonna lie. Damn it, I was gonna put it in the lost and found. So someone else can take the wiretapped stick. Vinny, tell a joke. Okay. Yeah, guy walks into the doctor's office, and there's a tremendous plane crash, and he says, Well, what am I supposed to do about this? And then Joe Piscopo... ...kills everyone on board. The end.
Will this be the day I finally finish my dinosaurs? God damn it. Maybe I should make a hybrid. Like, um, on Nary's Island or, you know, Nook's Republic of, of the people. <laughs> Did you know that the repulsive Raja Brooks Birdwing loves to luxuriate in hot springs water? It's true, who the male gathers in groups to sip the moisture while the female hides in the jungle trees. And though they dress to impress in red and green, these fluttering fiends are not just stylish, they're also quite malicious. I don't believe it. Their little larvae pack a poisonous punch that's supposed to protect them from predators. Get another donation. Catfish don't have scales and are rather slimy. Believe it or not, this slime helps them breathe. Some species of catfish are nocturnal and they'll feed on almost anything. They use a suctioning action to pull in their food. Did I mention they can grow as large as you or I? What? I didn't even know any of that shit. What? Slime and suction. It's, it's a little disturbing, Blathers. I have seen a giant catfish picture. Like when people catch mental catfish. Alright, chat. It's time to build my own hybrid abomination. Uh oh, that's not gonna work. Yo, time for another semi-professional lesson in reactions from yours. Truly, this is for when you just can't even. You know what I mean? It's like when you get so much chocolate on Valentine's Day that you can't even eat it all. So give resignation a try and watch the sympathy roll in. <laughs> Perfect fucking timing, Jacques. Dear Lord. It's very, very, very appropriate. Is that new, by the way? The dots. Vinny, what's your response to the allegations concerning the possible election fraud by the Nook Embassy? Um. Uh. Hang on a minute. I, um. Hang on. Oh, okay, here it is. Um. I've been instructed not to comment on such fraudulent and malicious accusations against dear leader nook and i um i implore you to drop your uh investigate investigative it's misspelled uh so don't don't do it okay thanks Sadly, this is the best hybrid I could do. Given my current dinosaurs. I mean, if you if you look at it from here, it almost kind of works. It's 
certainly is uh, unique. Someone said it's a Digimon. I mean, how much more stuff can you do in a game like Pokemon and Digimon until you start making ice cream into a sentient living creature? I'm gonna start my own Mon. It's gonna be Fupamon. Grundlemon. Yeah, I still complain about the sentient ice cream Pokemon, even though it's... ...a Pokemon I like. I think it's just amazing... ...that the fucking... ...sheer... ...fucking hubris... ...to make ice cream... ...into a Pokemon... ...still kinda blows my mind. I loved in Star Trek Picard, where that one general was like, Captain Picard, you little bitch. Shut the fuck up. You fucking piece of shit. Dog. Pig. Garbage boy. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, Star Trek. old, wrinkled piece of... Uh, uh... Scrum. You look like a fucking raisin. You look like if Mr. Clean... took a shower in a vat of acid. I just want to save people. Fuck you, Picard. <laughs> I may be exaggerating a little bit. Mr. Clunge. But again, like, there's a new Star Trek show that was announced, and I didn't really get a chance to talk too much about it. I'm still not going to talk too much about it, but the only thing Star Trek Discovery got right for me was Captain Pike and the guy who they cast, Anson Mount. Thought he was good. And I think, you know, there's potential for the show to, to be, and Rebecca Remain is, is, you know, number one, and the guy they got for Spock was, was serviceable. No one will ever be Leonard Nimoy. No one can ever top that performance, I'm sorry. Mud, Harry Mudd was good too. Rain Wilson did a good job as Mud. So it's like Star Trek Discovery had a couple moments that were... I was like, oh, okay, that's almost Star Trek. And, you know, Saru was cool, but... I really liked what they did with Captain Pike. And I feel like if they're going to lean into a show that's a prequel to, you know, James Kirk's mission on the Enterprise, and they're going to use Anson Mount as Pike, that could work. They need a good, interesting crew. They're going to need to, um, I think, really just... God damn it, Drake, are you spying on me still? I think the best thing for them to do with that show, Strange New Worlds, which is a weird title, Star Trek, Strange New Worlds, whatever, is, one, get Kurtzman off the show. Get the writers from Picard and Discovery off the show. Get Ron D. Moore to write a couple episodes and keep it standalone episodes without any specific giant overarching story. Maybe a small one that links up, but if, say, there's 12 episodes, Nine of those episodes should be totally unique away missions where, you know, they just go and explore strange new worlds like the classic shows. That's, for me, the only real potential that that show could be anything better or different than what they tried with Picard and Discovery. The cast is good so far, so we'll see what happens. As lo Another thing, too, we don't need any more universe-ending threats. Maybe we can just have them, 
you know, solve some minor things and, like, you know, try to do some stuff with the Prime Directive. Discover some aliens. You know, hang out with some Klingons, some Romulans. That's it. Maybe visit, like, a goat planet where it's just goats that talk. And they have to solve, like, a weird, like, political crisis between the goats. The Mirror Universe, they can fuck around with, too. I always like the Mirror Universe episodes. Cross your fingers that Orville doesn't turn into a shitty 3D animation. I mean, why not just delay it? Right, yeah, no, I know, you're right, the blacklist. We were watching that the other day and it's like, oh. They went that far to stick with the schedule of the show. Make e Orville an episode of Family Guy. The worst part is I could actually see that happening. Oh my god, Lois, these, uh, spacemen landed in our front yard. I say, what technology is this? Peter interacts with the crew of the Orville. They get into wacky hijinks. And then any of the fans that love the Orville stop liking the Orville because of the Family Guy connotation now. Hehehehe, <laughs> Lois, I want to go to space! Wasn't there an episode of Family Guy that actually reunited the cast of Next Generation? Yeah. Or was that American Dad? And they were the B-plot. Imagine getting the cast of Star Trek The Next Generation together, and then only giving them like three or four minutes of screen time. I'll tell you who would be down to reprise his role as Kirk. Chris Pine. No, definitely not Chris Pine. Chris Pine probably wants nothing to do with Star Trek movies anymore because they, they don't want to pay. And also the movies don't even have any direction. But um, Shatner was always pretty pissed about not getting a chance to play Kirk again after Generations. I, I don't need to see a 90-year-old Captain Kirk. I really don't. But, you know, he would definitely do the voice. Generations was really messy, to be honest. There's actually a video someone made about how Star Trek Generations is not as bad as you think it is. And then they referenced the points from... I forget where the video was, but they referenced the points from the Red Letter Media review about how Captain Kirk took the Curlin Nescar. Sorry, Picard. Brain fart and like slammed it down, and you hear a break sound effect. So he said to the point where people now think that's actually what happened. He's like, but that didn't happen. He just kind of gently sets it aside. 
was like, oh. Um, however, I don't agree with the video. I still don't like Star Trek Generations all that much. A couple good moments. It feels close to the show at times, but... Yeah, I think it's pretty... It's pretty rough. Rushed and rough. Vinny, we found it, remember? What did we find, Dave? It's in Picard. Oh, the Curlin Nescar, right? Yes, yeah, he didn't break it. When they recovered the Enterprise, they brought the Curlin Nescar back, and then they put it in Picard's, like, storage unit. You know, the, uh, the ones that they advertise in Brooklyn. $20 a month <laughs> for storage. Do I like any of the TNG movies? I think First Contact is the one I'm most nostalgic about. I think it's okay. Every next-gen movie has something in it that I like. Um, except Nemesis, which the only stuff I like was cut from the movie. Five hundred a month in New York for storage? Yeah, that's probably correct. Tom Hardy counts. He did the best he could. It was one of his first major roles, too, where he got to play um, an evil clone of Captain Picard because bald. Um, and he, he did... Really, he did a fine job. I'm really not getting any good islands, am I? Would you do nasty space things to a Borg lady? Says a chat member. Why I read that out loud? will be a mystery greater than where the Romulans came from. Um, I... Um... Nah, man, because they have all that weird shit on them. They got, like, tubes and, and like, you know, weird, like, veins. I don't know what kind of diseases Borg have. I mean, Data did it because he had to. That's how he was able to save his his um his crew. But he's also fully functional. You know, he's got like he's got a can opener down there. Someone just said he has a dick. Not only does Data have a dick, but it was referenced in an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation right from the beginning. There's an episode called The Naked Now, which is, um, like a little comedy episode real early in Season 1. And he... You know, he has sexual relations with a crew member and talks about how, how, um... how he's fully functional. And then... Then you hear... You know, as, as the episode goes on, they lock the door and you hear this. It's like, wait a minute. This is an episode of Star Trek? I took that from the episode, by the way. That's that's actually a moment from the Star Trek episode. And it turns out he was just shaving, because he grew a beard. And if you don't believe me... This will probably get claimed. Did you 
damage your face, Dana? It is a beard, Jordy. A fine, full, dignified beard. <laughs> One which commands respect and projects thoughtfulness and dignity. Well, opinions? Uh, it's, um, very different. When I stroke the beard thusly, <laughs> do I not appear more intellectual? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go now. What the fuck? Why was she laughing? I just want to know how we did that. Like, how does an android grow beard? I just don't know. I mean, it's got to be replicated. Like, he probably found it in, like, one of the crewmen's, like, garbage pails, and he just glued it on. I don't know. But yeah, these islands are not great. Vinny, if they can replicate food, they can replicate a glue-on beard. That's true. It's a shame Henry Cavill couldn't replicate a glue-on mustache for when he was Superman. You know, for the other movie that he was supposed to be in. So that they didn't have to CG a real one out. To be fair, the other movie was way better. It was Mission Impossible Fallout, right? Why are there no toilets on the Enterprise? I'm sure there are. The problem is the jumpsuits that they wore in the first se uh, two seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation were not... You weren't able to... Um, the actors couldn't go to the bathroom in them. So, what they had to do was they had to have the other actors or crew unzip them from the back so that they could go to the bathroom. And then they eventually changed the, um... the costumes, because those- the costumes were stinky. That's true. They were, um, what's the- what, what was the fabric chat? Polyester- poly- what was it? It was, um... It wasn't polyester. Maybe it was. They changed materials and then they changed it to a two-piece. And apparently it was just really, like, retained all the smells. Why do I know all this? I, you know, I don't know. You're gonna get one of two things during Animal Crossing. Pink Floyd... ...or Star Trek. And... ...just so happens, today we got both. I just want to visit the other animals. This isn't going to be a really long Animal Crossing stream because I have to do my Sunday stream stuff for tonight and do some emails. Walking past Drake's house, I smelled tomato salad. My tummy's still rumbling now. Hey, what can I do for you? I've been chasing bugs with this here net, just like I did when I was a kid. Sure does bring back memories. The thrill of the chase, the triumph of getting the jump on a rare critter. I'll never forget the feeling. Guess I forgot how tiring bug hunting is, though. Time to get on... get the jump on a nap. Oh, uh, you're looking mighty sharp in your iron armor. Not a bad look for you, Snort. Hey, kiddo. Looks like you've gotten pretty decent at catching bugs. Now, don't you go getting cocky. The moment you get too comfortable, that's when you're likely to slip up. 
but what I mean is, don't be like me. One time I let my big ego bumble. A rare catch. Bungle? Maybe? I regret it to this day. Oh, well, Ham- Ham is- sorry, Hamfrey, not Ham, is self-aware at least. Where the hell is Leonardo? We haven't seen him. Hey, Scoot, it's me. Scoot. Scoot! What the hell was he doing? I, I guess he needed gas? Okay. This looks way easier on TV. He drinks it? Can you get high on gasoline fumes? I know the answer to that. It's- it's an obvious yes. I feel like enough of anything can probably get you high in some form. Even too much oxygen. So... I don't know. The sound of the armor is- is really <laughs> kind of killing the vibe of the museum. Why, Vine, what a delightful coincidence running into you here, Snappy. Isn't it wonderful the way this hot room recreates the bug's natural habitat? I know dear Blathers isn't fond of bugs, but he doesn't let that affect his work. He's a true professional. This room does get rather hot after a while. Well, as long as the bugs are happy, that's all that matters. So how was RimWorld, Snappy? Yeah, Scoot... <clears throat> the problem with Scoot is that he wasn't getting... You know how they say, like, weed is a gateway drug? Well, I don't know if I believe that, but I'll tell you what I do know, is that Scoot was really enjoying weed, but because of his asthma, he had to stop. So he figured maybe, you know, gasoline, I'll try gasoline. That'll, that'll be good. That's fine, right? Not even once. Okay. Two wings down. Vinny, are you close to a 100% museum? I'm close to a 40% museum, maybe. Fifty percent? The only thing I'm close to finishing is the, um, is the dinosaurs. I still have only seen red those two times. And I, like, when I don't play this, I do play 
or when I don't stream this, I play it a little bit. I usually play for like, you know, 40 minutes or so. Um, I've missed a couple days, but I've done my best to keep up with it, so I still haven't seen Red. Someone said I've only seen him once weeks ago. Yeah, they need to um, do Animal Crossing New Horizons Journey's End and implement, like, all the quality of life changes and also increase the red spawn rate. We're so close to being done with the dinosaurs, chat. It's so fucking close. I think we're missing one wing. Right? It looks like we're missing that one wing. We're missing that... Just, yeah, like maybe two. I think it's just the two. Got all these. No Leonardo, by the way. I know where to find him. I got it. Right here. In the sewer. Oh fuck, he's not a turtle. It, never mind. Unga Bunga, dude. Vin stole the joke from Mono. Mono, how much do you want for me to license your joke? Three fifty. What does that translate to in bells? about free for do. <laughs> 1. 1.5 Raymond's post crash. Okay. All right, I can do that. I can deliver you. All right. I get you a full Raymond and a half Raymond. And a full Nelson. Which half? Oh, I'm just gonna split down the middle. There's... Don't worry about it, there's, there's hundreds of thousands of Raymonds out in the world, so what? You know, we lose one. It's fine. I'll give the other half to someone else. Hey, Boot, guess what? I've got something special for you today. It's a present here. Take it. A ninja costume. I saw it and thought of you. I hope you like it. Did you see the results for Happy Home Academy? God damn it. How's it going with those bugs? Practice makes perfect, so swing that at, at everything. I'm always taking quick naps. Like that. I sleep way better in a workout top. It's real comfy, so I never change. It's cool because they always smell a lot like me. 
like chicken nuggets. <laughs> it's hard to stay chill with so much on my plate, you know? It's like, how's a guy supposed to decide what to have for dessert? I suppose some rainbow sherbet would be real great, but then I get to thinking I could really go for some gingerbread instead. Life is full of real tough decisions. Tough but delicious decisions. Isn't it weird that the chicken says the things about other food tasting good? Leonardo is just fucking gone, chat. He just left. It's a yellow ninja outfit. I'm a ninja knight. It's maybe Able Sisters. I'll check. Let me sell this stuff and then I'll... I forgot to give the fossil to Bla- Ah, next time. Scorpion wins. Have you had any new dreams? N none that I was able to write down, but I did have a dream about high school again. Except, while I was in high school, it was college. Just more school anxiety dreams of me not doing enough, or me not knowing where my classes are. I don't know. I don't remember the specifics of it, but... It was one of those things where I thought I was still in high school, but when I got there, I was in college. That's- that's all, like, that's the best I can do to relate the dream. Vinny, you need to go back to high school and settle this. I need to fight high school. And that's how I defeat my- my, uh, high school demons. Oh, he's home. But now Diva's missing. Oh, he's into metal? I didn't know that. Yo, welcome, relax, and make yourself at home, Flexin. Whoa, now we're talking. I love your ninja costume. Half the fun of having giant muscles is showing them off. You can't beat activewear for that. How's your happy home score? They never even asked how many crunches I can do. This whole room is built for crushing my abs, Flexin. Feel free to steal the layout if you want to get swole. Strength training doesn't just mean doing any old exercise. Let me teach you how to do some Leonardo-style training. There are lots of strength training programs, but the most important thing is consistency, Flexin. Visualize the bod you want to have and go after it. Six-pack abs, bulging biceps, it all depends on vis visualization and follow-through. I've got a vigorous question for you. Which sport would you rather play with your buddies? I guess baseball. For me? Yeah. It's a lazy sport sometimes. You can just stand there and nothing happens for like... 25 minutes or more. Very interesting, Flexen. Baseball requires both athletic st uh, skill and a deep understanding of the game's complex strategies. Plus, you get to psych yourself up a bunch and get really loud. Let's go, Timu. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, now I'm pumped. Play ball. Vinny, he has human skulls on the wall? Someone else in chat said his carpet is made from his mother. Oh my god. Iron door plate. I think I already have that. 
Yep, got that one. Vinny, please shake all the trees again. I missed the tree shaking segment. I got one piece of furniture and I gave up. I'm like in your ninja costume, real sporty. One of these days I should get in on the active wear thing. If you got any tips, I'm all ears, you know? I forgot to vacuum. Sorry, I'm just not the busybody host type. Just don't go hunting for dust piles, okay? Ah, I was gonna give Diva the recipe for the iron door plate. Ultra Diva in chat. The curse is lifted. What? There were fleas on me? No soon-to-be-famous singer ever wants to hear she's got fleas, but you were so cool to catch them for me. You've got some fab bug-catching skills, Vine. I will blend in like a ninja, and Scoot will not see me. Check me out, champ. I'm wearing the wizard robe that you gave me. What do you think? Makes my muscles look even more glorious, eh? By the way, don't you just love a good massage to ease your sore muscles, smoke weed? Sure. You know what I mean? And in my case, I'm trained in massage, so I can just give one, give myself one. It's like I'm training for the massage and then I'm massaging for the training. Okay, I thought he was gonna like hit me with his, like, his flaps. Alright. Anyway. Oh, I'll let you, you know, go now and enjoy the rest of your day. Just doing, you know, some Animal Crossing. Uh, it was fun. It's always good to check in. Even if these streams are becoming less frequent, I still like doing them. And, uh, you know, here's to the next big update, whenever that is. Anyway, I'll see you guys later on with Sunday stream stuff. And uh, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and thanks for uh, being here.